all right welcome back everyone to another video and in this one i'll be sort of doing a psa at this point about the two most uh, most easily available kind of lcd displays for your diy project and what's the difference what the controllers you can use and stuff like that so uh, we are talking about around three inches to ten inch lcds uh, so we are leaving out L LVDS based stuff um, although most of the the technical electronical working artists are similar but we are just talking about DIY controllers and LCDs that you can buy off Aliexpress or other places so I'll be talking about the mostly 5 inch to 7 inch displays are the most common you can get 10 inches or uh, lower than 5 as well I have a 5 and I have a 7 um, so the story starts with uh, this particular project that you all might have seen which is the uh, portable terminal uh, emulator kind of a thing that was I was trying to build and this is what I came up with um, and at that time I didn't have access to LCD I had LCDs I didn't have the controller and some mess so um, this works uh, and we will go into the detail of what this is the same LCD um, as this one this is broken but it still works and this is not broken that's the only difference so the two different types or of connectors that you can get um, or standards is the 40 pin uh, FPC and the 50 pin FPC um, and both of these are equally famous in terms of uh, where you would see them because the 50 pin uh, FPC you see them in a lot of project products even this uh, wave share 7 inch LCD module has a 50 uh, 50 pin FPC in it uh, and this is a 50 pin LCD this is a 50 pin LCD and these 50 pin L uh, the 40 pin LCDs are available on uh, some couple of Banggood re resellers sell them uh, but they're most widely known for being available on Adafruit uh, similar to this controller which is from Adafruit uh, which is a 40 pin TTL uh, RGB LCD controller for this one uh, and you can actually connect them and it will work now for the project that I did right here this display is the same as this one it's not using the controller instead it's using the uh, the Lechi Pi Zero which has an onboard um, LCD controller mod uh, on it so I've just directly connected it to the board so we are skipping the middleman on this one so yes there are products you can buy on both sides uh, with the 40 pin LCD uh, you use this particular controller uh, because it seems to be very specific to aid up fruit for some reason and then maybe a couple of other manufacturers um, adopt the standard but the 40 pin stuff is like I've mostly just seen it uh, on aid up fruit products for some reason uh, and then you can basically connect this over HDMI to a board like this and uh, and power it up so I will show you guys uh, this powering it up, uh, powering up properly, so that you know you you can tell that it's working. So plug the LCD in and plug the board in. Now the LCD needs to be connected to something, right? There you go. So all the controllers are powered by 5 volt USB, the ones that I'm showing in this video. So that's actually fine. Now the problem is, is uh, this might be upside down because as far as I remember this didn't, doesn't follow the FPC having the uh, exposed area upside kind of a standard that there is. So this might not work on the first try then I'll flip the LCD and try again. Um, let's power it on and see if we get anything yep it works so you can see this is booting just fine uh, of course uh, it's displaying just fine you can see the HDMI signal is working 
now my first instinct was to use a 50 pin to 40 pin converter like this one which I found on Alibaba or AliExpress um, to then run the 50 pin LCD that I already have on this and it doesn't work it actually lets the magic smoke out and you are going to have a very bad time with it so sadly these aren't intercompatible now let's move on to the 50 pin stuff and why I personally like that um, because it's so abundant in regular products that you can just have an old product laying around um, and uh, and extract the display out of it and it's almost guaranteed going to be the 50 pin one so for example this wave share display 50 pin FPC this particular display is many years old I think 2012 or 2013 I bought this and this is the original LCD for this casing which was a portable uh, RCA display uh, it had a controller and this casing would foot right in like this is the display which which came with this uh, outer casing that I'm reusing now so so in, in weird products and um, I'll show you one more uh, later on down the road because that's kind of a surprise. So to control the 50 pin LCDs, uh, of course you can't use the 40 pin one as it will blow stuff up. Uh, what you do, you order something like this. Uh, of course this, uh, the, you can you can connect it to the WaveShare board, but WaveShare doesn't sell the sell the board separately or even like just a controller board separately. So we are stuck with buying the whole unit, and you don't want that, of course. You go to AliExpress, order a few more stuff, um, and this is what they send you. Uh, this, uh, you have, you got remotes and stuff, but this is like really cheap, 500 rupees, you know, go ahead, uh, like $10 or something, per, per board, uh, less than $10. Uh, you get two controller, like control modules, and you get two boards. So... I'll take one out, uh, leave the rest in, and uh, so you take the take this one. So it's only a bit larger than the Adafruit one. I thought it was going to be a lot larger, but then you actually get your uh, physical speaker output. So you can have two speakers coming out. There's a small amp in there. Uh, you get RCA output. You get your controller, so you can actually control a few things uh, resolution you know how uh, like contrast and stuff like that you actually and this is interesting because you get this tiny little um, pot here uh, and you can actually adjust the the contrast and the uh, of, of the LCD from there so if you have a weird style of LCD it will still work uh, with that said let's try it out so I have this separate, I have this separate, I'll plug this LCD in, again remember this is a really really old LCD uh, and I just found out that it was being used somewhere and it's compatible out of the box with this controller. So you put the flat flex in, which is kind of tricky and you plug in your USB power to here. Plug in the HDMI. And power stuff on. So I plug in the LCD board first. So it turns on immediately. It's, it will say no display in a moment. And uh, there's no signal. And it will shut down, so we might have to restart it once the board powers up. Um, but let's just wait and see if the board just shows something up on there. Yep, there it is. So you, you can see that it's working fine, and it's an old LCD, so the contrast isn't that good. Um, so that works as well, and uh, so it's already booting now. Now, as I said, I like the 50 pin LCD standard because it's so omnipresent in products uh, that are made for end consumers. 
uh, that it makes more sense to just buy the controller and uh, and you might already have a product with it or you can buy some random uh, random LCD display module for a random board and it might actually have the 50 pin connector inside uh, and like this happened with me so I bought this S70 uh, LCD module well it's just a display it had a 40 pin connector on it and they advertise it as a 40 pin connector but this is a proprietary pinout it will not work with this board at all the connections are different the functions are different it's a mess what it works with is uh, is the is some specific nano pi nano pc uh, setups that use the samsung chipset uh, such as this one i haven't tried it i'm not going to try it because i'm not in the mood to reflash the board with os images that support this display yada 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 so you see this big lvds connector here yeah their idea of plugging in a display is to make a ribbon cable that's smaller than this and plug it off to the side and this secure it by closing it down so you have these pins exposed and if you miss this up by chance like maybe slide it off a little bit it will blow your stuff up so uh good good design um friendly alec i, I wonder why you would do that just use some some things standard but the trick is they do use things that are standard inside so if you open this up you take all the screws out you take the foot screw out you can see there's there's obviously a, a daughter board in there so if you take that out you put your nails to the work and you open it up and what do you know they are using the same 50 pin LCD as everyone else and they designed an entire board so that they can have a proprietary connector come out and this is uh, why I don't like stuff is why can't you just use this connector and have that connected to the board instead of doing the whole custom thing you take the connector out and actually you have to take the whole module out which is another beta uh, holds the LCD from the other side this is your 50 pin connector this is your uh, resistive touch screen controller which you can get a USB to resistive touch touch screen control of uh, easily and you can use that uh, you throw this board away because this is a proprietary piece of crap you then try to pop the display out which is fairly simple because there's just one pin holding it uh, nice cover you might want to keep this and there you go this is your LCD uh, now obvious thing to do is see if it works with our controller uh, which it most definitely should so you plug this in so you power on the display first and then power on there you go no no or like the blue screen is here it should say no HDMI no signal in a second which is good which is what we want to see um, and then power in the board itself which I give it a few seconds to boot and you should see a stuff pop out so that's the point is a lot of these displays might just be 50 pin connectors inside um, and and there you go there, there you go there that's the board booting just fine on this display uh, which was never meant to boot that board um, and the better idea would be to set yourself for the 50 pin standard because the display and controller are more easily available uh, all right I, I do agree that they are available from sites like aliexpress which uh, might not um, ensure much confidence in people but they are available um, 
uh, with with the 40 pin connector i believe you are stuck with using adafruit parts and if they decide that they are not selling enough units and they want to close the close the production um then you're stuck or you'll have to like build your own pcb and stuff like that um so the surprising thing uh, and why i thought the 50 pin should be compatible with the 40 pin controller is they use basically the same style of io if you take a look at the pin numbering and this adafruit part here and the wave shape part here use the exact same chip there so it's not even dependent on what sort of hdmi to lcd controller you're using um it's just how the wiring is probably clock probably the negative and positive voltages because lcds run on an ac high high frequency ac ish current um that's why all these controllers have like an inductor on them always all of them have an inductor uh or, or inductor or two uh through like as a part of the power circuit to like power the lcd um and not just the uh not just the back like the actual lcd requires ac voltage otherwise it will uh die very soon it isn't like dc um that's the kind of um issue we had here was uh there were too many options of lcds which one to settle for what which one to use uh, apparently this controller um this is what i'm settling for is this particular controller and 50 pin lcds because these are easily available um for this you're stuck with this controller and stuck with that that lcd and it's seven inch uh model you don't have a 10 inch version in that you don't have a smaller version in that um with this again i can go with like multiple i've even seen a nine inch lcd with the same exact uh, io and it will be compatible so you can actually um modify that as well um now yeah this is a different controller this is a different controller but same both of these use the 50 pin lcd and if i connect this lcd to this uh socket here it will work just fine uh so that was kind of a rundown on my experience with different lcds now there's one case where you really might want to go for the 40 pin LCD is that Adafruit doesn't only create a HDMI to LCD connector they also create an SPI to LCD connector so if you have a board like some of the Beagle bones uh, have or, um, or some of the Beagle board blacks even uh, there are some of the green ones from Seed Studio don't have a HDMI controller on board you can actually run a full size like full 5 or 7 inch LCD just over SPI, um, the drivers are there in the mainline Linux kernel, so that's nothing to be worried about. Uh, driver support, um, everything, uh, everything should run fine. So unless that's the case, uh, I, I suggest going for the 50-pin one because it's just so much more easily available. And even the Fenrir Lake is a good kit. This particular display, the S70. If you find it for a decent price, it's not a bad idea to buy one. You do get a resistive touchscreen on there. You get a nice casing, so you can repurpose that. Um, uh, use some extensions or something like 50 pin extenders uh, you can get um, and just uh, bring the 50 pin uh, pin out outs outside or even try to fit this inside there, uh, but I don't see how that would work. Uh, I'm willing to give it a go. Um, so yeah, so that was sort of my rant slash PSA on on these LCD display modules. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat informative uh, and will help you make decisions, I guess. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Make sure to stay subscribed. I'll have more updates. Uh, I know I've not been really uploading that often, but there are some projects in the way that you might see soon, hopefully, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.